Hey YouTube, this is Gracie and welcome back to Cardtober, a series in which I show you how to make a Disney bounding Halloween card every day in the month of October. Today is a start of a new theme and the theme, if you can guess it, is Hocus Pocus. And today's card is Disney bounding as none other than the number one Sanderson sister, Winifred Sanderson. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of this week. I have so many exciting things happening, especially towards the end of the week. So hit that subscribe button, click like if you like this video, do all that good stuff, and let's carry on. So today's card, like I said, is Disney Bounding as Winifred from the movie Hocus Pocus. And yes, it is a Disney movie, so there you go. Um, I did this green colored cardstock, and this has a little bit of a pattern to it. Um, it's a little bit of a like a floral-ish type pattern on there, and I don't think you can see that, but I'll show you a little bit more in just a second. And that is the color of her dress and most of her gown type thing that she wears. Um, I did a little tiny bit of purple in there because she's got little bits of purple as well as little bits of blue, and that's why I did this blue potion here. Um, she also has a lot of black that she wears, and this orange ribbon is to represent the color of her hair. I've also done a like tie string uh, lace up area here and that is to reference the lace up front that she has on her gown that she wears as well. On the inside of the card it is a whole like potion kind of thing and it's actually a quote from uh, William Shakespeare and it's eye of newt, toe of frog, wool of bat, uh, tongue of dog for a charm of powerful trouble like a witch's brew boil and bubble um, I really thought this was perfect also because there is like a giant eye at the top to kind of reference the um, Spell book that she uses and then on the back side I did my G stamp which I do on all of my handmade cards and again the little eye design to again reference the spell book as well as the fact that I used a brown card again to reference the book that she loves so let me go ahead and show you guys quickly how to make it it is a bit of a bear to make so let's go ahead and do step by step here start off with your card which this one is five and a half by four inches and in the color brown I've already stamped the inside of my card and this is the stamp set that I used from Stampin' Up, Toil and Trouble, and I just used this side here, and then for the back side where I did my G-stamp, I just did the eye, uh, inked the eye, and that's about it. Um, the first layer is this green cardstock, and now you can kind of see the design that's on there. Um, and let me show you the card pack, or the paper pack I used. This is Old World Stack, and this is from, uh, let's see, DCWV, I guess, is the company. So there you go. And there's all kinds of different textured and colored paper in here. And I ended up using this for uh, tomorrow's card as well. So stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and place that onto the card itself. And we're going to use our, actually, let's go ahead and use some liquid glue instead of the tape runner. Um, just put a nice thin layer so that way it doesn't cause too many bubbles and bumps. Okay, and that is a uh, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're just going to place that down onto the brown card itself. Nice and simple. Okay, set that aside and let me show you the next step. I cut, I think this is a two inch thick um, by five and a half inches long. And uh, if you can see there, the little pencil marks, um, what I did was I took a ruler and just did like every like centimeter or so, and then I just did it on the opposite side as well. And I took my, oops, sorry about that. I took my hole puncher here, which is, you know, this size, I don't know what size that is exactly. There's no measurements on here. Uh, this is a Fisker's hole punch. And I just went through and hole punched all the way up both sides and this is basically what it comes out to look like and I've already laced this one up um, so you can see um, the ribbon that I used and I just laced it like you would a tennis shoe nice and simple and now we're going to add our pop dots hopefully let me grab some real quick and we're just going to place them like every other lace basically 
kind of zigzagging it. Oops, got two of them there. So you don't need too many for this part. And peel the backings off. Oops, not the whole thing, just the backing. <laughs> These ones are hard to take the backings off. I don't know what company makes this collection, but just going to put that right there in the center of the card and press down on the pop dots or 3D foam square adhesives. <laughs> and you can see how it's already becoming a full card. You can leave it like that or you can add the next step, which is to cut out your cauldron with a little bit of potion in there. And I used my Happy Hauntings Cricut cartridge for this. Um, and all I did to finish it off was, um, I think this again was like a, actually I think this was done in like four inch uh, size. And then the same thing for the potion. Cause again, you have to match up the sizes um, and they'll fit inside of each other. That's kind of how it's designed. Um, so I did the blue potion and I did a little bit of diamond stickles um, to make it look more magical and potion-y. And then I also did um, um, the handle and just kind of dripping down, I did the Nouveau Crystal Drops in ebony black. And you have to let that sit and dry for quite some time because the stickles take a while, but since you're using a lot of Nouveau, I found if you're using like gobs of it, it does take a little bit longer to dry. Um, and this, I actually pop dotted as well. Let me see if I can find the ones that I used. So I actually used the, I guess, Sticky Doos is what it's, they're actually from the uh, paper studio. And they're the round pop dots or 3D foam adhesives. And I literally just did two, one on one side and one on the other. I think I ended up t doing a uh, double. So let me double check here, <laughs> double, double check. So yeah, you can actually see that I've used two uh, round pop dots so one on top of each other and that was just to doubly raise it off of the card and we'll use one more place that on the other press down firmly so that they stay connected flip it over and place it towards the center of the card or wherever you want there you go and there you have it. It's really nice and simple, this card for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm hoping you are just as excited for this new theme as I am. Hocus Pocus this whole week, um, and a little something extra towards the end of the week as well. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Halloween. Bye.